All right, so welcome back to uh, part two B. All right, so <clears throat> in part two we kind of went over uh, some of the directional terms in part, or we're still in part two, but uh, second part of part two, we, let's do a bit more um, about sales. All right, so let's let's get going and try to manage time a little better than we did the first two videos. And we don't need to give this a title because we're not really concerned too much about title. Well, I guess I can just say sales because that's what we're going to be talking about. All right, so when we um before we even start talking about sales, let's this is what we're going to we're going to break down the um general structure of a human being or, or what we eventually become uh, as a human being. All right, so at the very top, at the very top section, you have the organism, which is us, right, human being. Uh, so human, or in other words here. Um, organism All right below it before you became an organism uh, essentially you made out of a system All right well specifically um, organ it's going on my spelling here organ system out of organ system you came out of uh, individual organs All right out of individual organs you were then <coughs> you were tissues before tissues you were cells and even further down or actually, on here you can't go any further down. You can't indent anymore. But let's just say we could indent one more time. We will have sensory atoms and so on and so forth. All right. So you can go at the very bottom, but with you know, we're just going to start off with the cells all right, and build ourselves up. All right. So cells. <clears throat> um, there are two type primary type of cells: prokaryotic and eukaryotic. Our main concern is eukaryotic. Eukaryotic cells are what we are. So that's what our focus will be on. Uh, the eukaryotic cell is uh, surrounded by a cell membrane. Uh, inside of the eukaryotic cell, there are um, items referred to as organelles. Organelles are structures that are specialized. All right, so uh, a nucleus, a um, mitochondria, so on and so forth. These are specialized um, items that do things. All right, so specialized. All right. Um, we won't be going over all the individual ones because that's not what this one is about. But anyway, uh, in a general space of the organism, you will have the cytoplasm, which is just a nice jelly-like space uh, where all the uh, organelles are, um, uh, are are located. And let's talk about the very inside of the cell. The very inside of the cell, we have the nucleus. Right, nucleus is essentially you can think of it, I suppose uh, the brain center where your um, metabolism, uh, your growth, and pretty much all your information for making you it will be located. Um, inside of here, you can also inside of the nucleus you can also locate the DNA, um, deoxyribonucleic acid, right, which is essentially your um, your blueprint and right, what makes you. Right. The deoxyribonucleic acid or the DNA. It's essentially composed of a uh, structure, thread-like structure. We refer to it as chromatin. Chromatin. Okay, chromatin. All right. Um, now, when your cells are ready to divide, right? Essentially, they are formed out of what we refer to as chromosomes. This is where your genes are located. Now, again, we we this is even not what we're supposed to be doing. So let's let's get back to it. All right. So out of cells, cells we go into tissue. Right. So tissues. So imagine cells. Cells are these individual items, and together they form tissues. Tissues themselves are not going to do much. Um, <laughs> not going to do much. They're going to do a few things. Um, so let's go into a different type of tissues before we even go any further beyond tissues. All right. So again, tissues are specialized. Uh, groups of cells. All right, so they are specialized group of cells. Groups of cells. So we have cells, and now we have cells together. They are now known as tissues. Um, so there are four primary tissues that we talk about. When we talk about tissue, we talk about epithelial tissue. We talk about connective tissue. We talk about muscle, and we talk about nervous tissue. Oh, nervous. All right. So epithelial tissue, all right. This is what you're gonna find generally in uh, the majority, the, the lining um, and the covering, right, of internal organs, all right. 
of organs. All right, they line the cavities, the canals, uh, they form tubes. Uh, essentially, it's composed of cells that are arranged in what we refer to as con continuous sheets. All right, and it may be one layer, all right, single layer, or it could be double layer. All right, um, so those are epithelial tissue. Now, the big item here is connective tissue. All right, this provides supports. They also connect other tissues to each other. Right. For instance, um, if we talk on the biggest um, connective tissue you can think about would be blood. Right. Blood would be a connective tissue. All right. Then we have muscle tissue, which I probably would have seen much. You already kind of have an idea what a muscle tissue is. All right. This is the kind of tissue that provides what we refer to as contractile um, tissue. All right, because what it can do is it can, you know, contract and it can contract. All right, contract and relax. All right, so muscle can contract and relax. Now, and then we have the very last tissue here, which is the tissue of your nervous system. Now, the major thing to remember about uh, nervous tissue that is that. Now, if the tissue does not regenerate, all right. So once it's gone, it is gone. All right. So that is tissues. Uh, let's now move on to organs. Organs. All right. So just like we had um, the specialized cells that form organs, what happens when you put a bunch of um, Excuse me, let's go back. Just just like we had the specialized cells which form tissues. When you put a bunch of tissue together, you form an organ. All right? So an organ are essentially your body structures, all right? And just like tissues, they also perform specialized items, or basically functions, all right? Um, so let's say for instance, if you have a your stomach is made up of connective tissue, but it can also it's also made of um, muscle tissue, epithelial tissue and nervous tissue. So as you can see, your stomach will be made out of all those um, tissues that we went over. All right, so that will be an organ. Now, from an organ, we move down to organ system. All right. So it's very nice if you have a stomach. Right? It's also very nice if you have a liver. It's also very nice if you have a um, uh, a brain. But what good is each of these individual ones if they do not one communicate? Or to work with each other, it wouldn't be very nice. All right, um, so that is what we refer to as an organ system. It means that you have all these uh, individual structures actually working together, and when they do work together, they will eventually produce what is the organism, which will be you, human. All right, so that is our simple coverage on cells. Uh, next item part, I think we're gonna do a little more on the human body before we, go to, we actually move on to uh, the other skeletal system. Alright, so see you in a little bit. Or actually, depends on when you're seeing this, it might be more than a little bit.